Hi all, I'm Arvind Pandian. In today's video, we're going to see about two Adani Group stocks, which has been slammed in value a lot. And I think this is an opportunity for us to buy. I'll show you some reasons, very good examples, just like we did with Sustron, Word of Idea and other stocks also. So before starting everything, I just want to highlight you this. Do not invest all your money in these stocks. Invest only which you are okay to lose. I'm only sharing uh, my view and uh, and what I will do. Please do your own analysis also. So what's the reason I see behind these Adani stocks? See, I told you multiple times in different videos uh, that 2020 gave a bull run. And uh, many know that, of course, and many, uh, you know, got multiple returns, even in Adani stocks, multifold returns. And uh, what happened in 2021, 22 and 23 was the most of the stocks were slammed in values, which the market thought it's not the fair value. Then it has been crashed a lot. Right. So you could look whatever stocks you have got in your portfolio. If it's in a good value, then it has survived that crash. The last three years it happened and now it's giving you a fresh opportunity to buy stocks. Right. Yes. And many have already flew and only few are left that I'm trying to bring to you so you could make utilization of that. If you are not following so long time for uh, with us, you might have missed many good stocks. And now uh, these stocks should also we should see as a uh, we should take it with a little risk behind it. But uh, let's see what happened in Suslon. I made these videos in two years back, uh, sorry, a year back. And this is what I said in this particular video. We suggested in uh, seven rupees, and do you know what has <laughs> what has happened now and what's the current value? It has almost doubled, and I'm not saying you have to invest uh, all your money in the stocks we're going to discuss in Adani. No, not like that. Invest cautiously, and this is high risk stocks which I'm going to talk about. The risk reward is like that. Okay, and let's start with Adani stocks. So as you could see, the market exponentially zoomed them to almost thousand percent and then it corrected a lot it happened with most stocks which the market thinks it's unfair to move like that then it has corrected them but i see a good opportunity in these stocks i'll explain you in the technical chart much more in detail and it's still at high pe and when you look at its profit and uh, revenues it's generating it's it's good not bad so i like this particular part also Okay, and then the next interesting part I see here is a you know shareholding pattern. Mutual funds is a has a very little quantity, but foreign institutions they still hold a very good quantity and uh, they are still holding it. And mutual funds, as I said, they don't hold much. Domestic institutions they still have um, a good quantity, but they are holding it also. So that's a very good positive sign. And the next important thing is that they have a higher industry revenue growth and higher than industry net income also. So these two things are positive. And as you could see, their EBITDA, PBIT, net income, they have been a very good growth. And I, that's why uh, when I see fundamentally good things with the risk, we could, um, you know, I wish to take these stocks. That's why I have bought it for you. And when you look at the Adani Green also, it, it zoomed um, almost 1000% similarly, and then it corrected, then it gave a sharp recovery, then it's consolidating. What now? That, uh, that I'll show you much more details in uh, the technical chart. It's a large cap, and its P is also still high. And when you look at its you know, revenue and profits, they have been continuously growth in revenue and in profits also. So nothing fundamentally have changed. So it's just the Hindenburg report, um, so something is needed for the market to correct. For Adani stocks, it was Hindenburg. For other stocks, it could be some other thing. And then the stocks, um, I have explained you multiple times. Even the analysts, they will say, don't buy this. And after two months or three months time, they'll say, uh, we, we think uh, it's right time to buy. That's how they play around. The thing is, you have to decide for yourself uh, if you are at the right time to invest. Uh, are you ready to take the risk behind it? something like that okay and when you proceed the same thing goes with adani green also the foreign institution have increased by two percent and then um, the uh, 
before coming to domestic institution that is a slide in uh, mutual funds and uh, domestic institutions they have increased also uh, constantly very slowly little by little that's a very good sign and um, look at this the financial report like EBITDA and PBIT net income those have been increasing also so that's a very good sign again and what does these companies do right that that's a question main question Adani Green they are into solar power, wind power, hybrid power, solar parks. So what I did was like I sold off my Suslon um, stake. I don't care if it goes beyond it. I, I thought of having for long term, but I sold off and I wanted to invest in the other stocks. It's just as a rotation because I on a long term, of course, some kind of money is okay to be holded in Suslon. Then I thought like uh, I could invest in solar power. It has also um, the uh, Adani thing is it's lower now it's not in the limelight but it can come to limelight again so this these are the things Adani renewables do they are called as Adani uh, green you might be little wondering uh, what is the difference between Adani green and Adani power so Adani power also you yeah, they might not show much details but you have to go into a little deep to see what they do they have these many power plants and what they do is like thermal power plant is not a green energy okay i hope now you understand and uh, adani total gas is also exciting me because um, they they cover most of the you know uh, home uh, requirements and so on they are expanding also they have a huge uh, future growth prospect so that excites me so that's why i think these two stocks are reasonable and good in financials also to invest and Adani SL Power were the top uh, solar project developers in India in 2018, but also in um, current time also. And Adani Green and the bet on India's solar future. And these are the, some of the articles I want to bring to you because people forget things, what happened in past and what's the reason they, they peaked these two shares. Okay. There is a little negative i'll show you that also the potential of cheaply cleanly produced hydrogen can turn india into green exporter the one thing you have to understand is hydrogen uh, green uh, these are uh, very uh, you know good words uh, for the foreign institutions and so on because they want to invest in green energy and adani a promising uh, multi-billion uh, in india uh, he he could turn around with the money he has and um, so that's why these all investments and that came on even retailers were uh, very excited to invest later uh, people thought okay now now the negativity they should flow in that's why the stocks have corrected a lot they say him um, it's because of the uh, hindenburg report they say this this guy have cheated as we move on and see little more facts what happened in past so adani pa uh, partnered with leyland and uh, ballard to make hydrogen fuel every trucks and so on so they have been trying something but what has happened now in past two days is a little twist in the story so adani group puts green hydrogen project on hold to resume after 2026 that's a big pass right three years pass as far now but uh, things could change again uh, it you got to utilize the downfall so that's how i see it you you might have a different opinion but that's okay it's your money you have to think and invest and uh, this is what um, beneath uh, bolinkar says no immediate threat to another green hydrogen verticals plants yes of course there is no threat they will resume because they have money a lot of money uh, they just have to clear the clouds current uh, issues and then they will restart no doubt about it and um, so leading solar companies in india for 2023 as i said in here adani is also one of them as i clearly showed you the differences between adani power and adani green energy you see like uh, in green they do the solar wind hybrid and so on so that's the difference right and now how about india what is india thinking about india announces 4.3 billion investment in clean energy so india also wants that right so and um, 2023 promise for solar will india rise to the challenge yes so there so there have been so many articles and india has been you know putting a lot of money also 2.3 billion to develop a green hydrogen and uh, adani putting a pass of course when you look at little past one or two years back adani and um, 
Ambani, but the uh, you know big competitors for uh, hydrogen energy who will bring what, who will consume, who will have the big projects that will come because those things have not passed away. It's not, uh, it's just one guy said something and the stocks have corrected, and we could make utilize of that. That's how I say it. Okay, and now coming to the technical part, this is very important. The stock corrected 84 percent, and then right now the stock already rose 108 percent. Right, as you could see. So this is where it has moved from here to here, and from here to here it is 84%. So 84% was a big fall, and then it jumped up. And the, uh, this would not happen, but you could have that in here. So the worst, worst condition, uh, you know, this fall itself is a huge fall from here to here, and uh, uh, around 60%, I assume, 60 plus percent. And here. On a worst condition, it could go 34% more fall and more to 52%. That's worst case. Then you could average a bit. And the targets I have in mind, very fat um, targets I have, one is 32% and another is 73%. And this is, again, I have noted that down here, this is for high risk takers. Will not recommend this stock if you have low fund. So I will never take this stock if I have very low money and I want to invest only in good stocks then I will not consider investing in here this is what I want to clearly tell you um, uh, our subscribers so you don't put in a wrong stock if you have little money to play around um, then you could invest here currently can take this stock for short term or long term but it's also it's up to you and we are taking very far value uh, expectation when we go to Adani total gas okay the same keynotes goes for this stock also and now the differences between these two stocks uh, it has character this stock has character and then it has bounced up and might be higher lows higher um, it could go in a stepwise in an upper direction that's what the expectation is here is here it has made a double bottom and that's the expectation i think it could recover might be it will be moving here for a few months you will be locked for six months or seven months the same thing ha happened for so, so long also right how many months it, it's been a year and then in a year at some point breakout came and then it doubled i'm not saying this will happen in here also that's how uh, things would work we run behind five percent four percent ten percent and we forget the little big play to earn a good person so if you have patience then uh, if you have risk taking capacity then you could try uh, it's not uh, i'm not asking you to buy i'm not a financial advisor i'm just uh, giving my opinion much or sharing my analysis in here okay and these are the targets I have in mind. First target is 33%. This is the price. And the next target is 102%. And the next target is 150%. Okay. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, give us a th um, comments also that you like and you expect more something like this. We'll come up with more stocks also. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.